Well, hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas. I've already laid down my uh, base coat of Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. I am using mix with all of my paints today, seven part mix to one part paint. Let's go over my paints. Um, the first one is uh, the, the paint I call Mysterious, and I will put the description of all the um, paints. There's four paints that go together to make this. It's kind of a homemade paint. My next one is Liquitex ba Basics Dioxazine Purple. The next one is Folk Art Color Shift Aqua Flash. My next paint is Amsterdam combination of paints gray and Prussian blue to make a nice dark blue color. My next paint is Porch Posse white iridescent, er, iridescent pearl um, and Ellie's Evergreen Shimmer. Combination of those two. My next one is Blick Cadmium Red. And my last paint is Amsterdam Grayish Blue, one of my favorite colors. What I'm doing today is just a multi-ring pour. Back to basics. I've got three little cups here. I've already filled them. I'll show you one of the cups. And so I'm just going to uh, get to pouring here. <clears throat> no silicone added to my paints today. Just kind of a back to basics kind of day here today. Thought I'd try a ring pour, multi ring pour. Just using the mix. And I did layer my cups all different. I had all those several colors, so I was able to do that pretty easily. There's cup one. Hope you're all having a good day today. Beginning of a new week here. Those are really pretty colors. A lot of that purple came out, the dioxazine purple. And I did add my white in between my some of my layers. You can see some of that white coming out there. And that's cup number two. And our last cup here. Quite a bit of the white coming out there. Some of that aqua color. Okay. There's our three cups, and I think I'll give it a quick torch before I start tilting. And I think I will add some of the white in between these ring pours to help the paint move. I did add just a little bit of water to my paints to thin them just a little bit, but not too much for the uh, for the ring pour. You want to be able to try and keep the integrity of those rings. 
so you don't want to add too much water. Spread that out just a little bit here. This is a good pour for beginners to do. Okay, so let's just start the tipping and I hope you do get to see most of this. I try and bring my paints back to the center after every tip. Go off that corner a little bit. And now I will bring it back to the center. And now we'll go down to this corner. And I think I will cover that corner and then bring it back. I'm just going to set it here and look at it a minute. Look with my sides a little bit. And with my corners. Now I am going to tip to this this corner over here and I think I will add a little bit more of my base coat paint there to help that paint move Just think it needs a little bit more here Okay. Now I'll tip to this far corner. And I think I'm going to leave it right like that. And now I'm going to tip it down. If you've watched my other videos, you know that with the mix, I do like to stretch out the mix as the paints as much as I can when using the mix because it gives really nice effects. And the paint is moving quite a bit slower now. And I'm going to cover that corner. And then bring it back. 
first I'm going to cover it with my finger here. Get the paint to flow over. Okay, and now I'm going to bring it back. Okay, I'm going to take a look at it now. I think composition-wise it would go this way. See what I do and don't like about the painting? Cover my edges and my corners here. And I think I will give it a torch. A few cells coming up, not many. I do really like this red in here. That's very pretty. It looks like a rose. And I do like how the white stayed in the middle like that. I think I'm just going to take my skewer. Just give it a little bit more for the eye to look at here. Don't be afraid to work with your paintings a little bit. Give it a little just enhancement, I guess you'd call it. Just by mixing it up a little bit. Something like that. Okay, again, this is just a simple multi-ring pour on a 12 by 16 using the mix. And you can see how the mix allows those other colors to come up. You can see layers and layers of colors. And I think I will give it another torch. I may give it a little bit more tip here if it will move. I'm not sure. Might move a little. Pull it 
pull it back. Maybe just pull that down just a little bit there. Stretch out those lines. Yeah, I like that a lot better. Stretched out those lines a little bit. Okay. So let's get you down for a close-up. And tell me what you think. Okay, everybody. Here we are for our close-up. This is the upper left-hand corner. And I'll just bring you down the left-hand side. Here's where I was saying that those layers can just come right through with the mix. Very pretty in here, that, how that red came up. And I just played with the skewer a little more. Just giving it a few little different effects here. And here's the lower left-hand corner. And again, here's where I did some work with the skewer. And I really do love that red in there. So pretty with that purple. And here is the lower right hand corner where I did leave a little more negative space. And just going up the right hand side here to the upper right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video. Share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you'll know the next time I do post a new video. And consider subscribing if you haven't. That would be great and help my channel grow. I hope you enjoyed this. This is just a simple multi-ring pour, great for beginners. So until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.